Hello, my friends. In this class now, let's now learn how to read your vinyl caliber as well as your micrometer screw gauge. We have talked about micrometer screw gauge. We have talked about vinyl caliber. We said these are instruments that we use to measure lens. So let's now, of course, how do we read them? The first thing that I'm going to give you tips on how to read a micrometer screw gauge and a vinyl caliber. The tips are simple as follows. The first thing to do is to get the readings on the main scale. Remember that we said your vinyl caliber has two parts, the main scale and the vinyl scale. While your micrometer screw gauge also has a main scale and the screw scale. So get the readings of the main scale, get the readings of the vinyl scale or of that of the what of the screw scale. Are you with me? Get the readings of the main scale, get the readings of the vinyl scale. If it's a micrometer screw gauge, you get the readings on the what screw scale. I'm going to show you all. And the third thing to do is to add both of them together. So when you add the readings on the main scale, you add the reading on the vinyl scale, you put them together. That is simply how to read your word micrometer, screw gauge, and your vinyl clip. But very simple. Now let's go straight to take examples as examples are simple word past question. The question says, Jam 1990, question one. What is the reading for the vinyl scale above? Now, first of all, we say get the main scale and get the word the vinyl scale. Now, first of all, let's get the main scale reading. Main scale reading. Now, how do we get the main scale reading? First and foremost, let's count. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven, this is eight, this is nine, and this is ten. Right? So, from here now, that means this is two point, two, this is two point one, two point two, two point three, two point four, two point five, two point six, two point seven, two point eight, two point nine, three. Are you seeing that? That means each line is like zero point one. So if this side is 2, that means here will be 1.9, 1 1.9, 1 here will be 1.8. So I'm going to start my reading before this line. So which one is before this guy, which is 1.8? So my reading on the main scale is 1.08 centimeter. Did you see how I got this main scale reading? I chose the scale before this reading. Now, this is the main scale. This part is called the main scale. Why this part is called the vinyl scale. Let's not check the vinyl scale reading. Where does the vinyl scale reading start from? It starts from 1. Now, how do we read the vinyl scale? We are going to read the vinyl scale where the main scale meets with the vinyl scale. That's where we are going to stop reading it. We'll start from here. This will be 1. This will be 2. This will be 3. This will be 4. This will be 5. This will be 6. This will be 7. This will be 8. Now, we're going to stop here. Why do we stop here? Because at this point, the main scale meets with the screw scale. Both of them meet. So, my vinyl scale now will be equal to 0 0.08. Now, this is 0 0.08. Why this one is 1.8? Are you seeing the difference? So if you add that together now, that becomes 1.88 centimeter. So, what's the reading? 1.88 centimeter. If you check that, that becomes your option 1A. Are you seeing that? Very simple. I got the reading of the main scale, get the reading of the main scale, and I add them together. Do you understand? Now, I know you'll be saying, okay, if you don't understand, let's take another example. Now, in this question, we do that. What is the reading of the vernier scale? First of all, we have to get the main scale. Main scale reading. Now, first, let's see. This will be, let's count first. This is one. I mean, this is one, sorry, 1.1, 1 .1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 1.7, 1 1.8, 1 1.9, 1 1.10, 1 1.11, 1 1.12, 1 1.13, 1 1.14, 1 1.15, 1 1.16, 1 1.17, So each of the line there you should know. So we are, where are we going to start? We're going to start, this is where the reading is supposed to start. So we're going to start the one before the reading. So if this is 1, this is 1 1.2. One, this is 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1 so we start here, because this one is already more than this. So main scale reading is 1.30 centimeter. Now, the main thing is where do they touch? Where does the main scale touch the, uh, this skin? If you watch, they touch at this point, right? So let's count. This will be what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So they meet at that nine point. I just said one carefully reading it. So that means my vinyl scale. Hold on a bit. 
the complete series of classes, right, as far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awaek. Everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLift app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons. You have access to your notes. You have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the LearnLift app for you. So all you have to do is just mark down to Play Store or App Store and download the LearnLift app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end. A quick one before we move. Let's get back to class. Enjoy. Is equal to 0 0.09. So we add them together. That'll give me 1.39 centimeter. Do you understand that? Don't forget that where we started from, we started from this point before where this vineyard case starts. And we started from one, two, three until then both of them meet what each other. Quickly, let's take another question. Jam 2003 question 4. Only you try to read this for me. You can post it and try to read it. So I, when I do it, I would, when I now solve it, you now cross it to your answer. Post it, you can post it and do it. Now, first of all, I'll get the mean scale. Now, let's get the mean scale. First of all, if this is 1, let me see how Let's see. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. This is 6, this is 7, this is 8, this is 9, and 10. So each of them is 1, 1. That's 1 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 1.7, 1 1 1 1.9, So now, where does this start? This is normally a line. So we are going to pick the one before that, this line, which is this guy. And what's that? That's 1.6. So main screen is 1.60 centimeter. Now, where did they touch it? I'll come and look for where they touch. Where can you see that they touch? Okay, first and foremost, they touch here. Both of them are touching here. I think this question, I know they are also touching here. But let's try to calculate. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6, this is 7, this is 8, this is 9. So if we do this one now, it will be 9. And there's nothing like 9 in the option. So that means they are referring to this one, that's 4. That means your linear scale. is equal to what, 0 0.04 centimeter. So rule, that will give me what, 1.64 centimeter. Check that very well, that's your option. Where the main scale meets with the linear scale. Where the main scale meets with the word on the linear scale. Let's take another example now. This is now micrometer screw gauge. Micrometer screw gauge and linear caliper, the same thing. You get the main scale and the screw scale and you add them together. Or I say you get the main scale, get the screw scale, add them together. So let's calculate for the main scale. Main scale reading will not be equal to. So now this is zero. That means here will be one, here will be two, here will be three, here will be four. Zero, one, two, three, four. So what's my main scale reading first? 4.00 centimeter. Now, I'll now check where the main scale and the screw scale meet. Here is already 10. So if here is 10, that means here is 11, here is 12, here is 13, here is 14, here is 15. Are you seeing? And it's above the 15, that's 16, that's this point. So that becomes what? 0 0.16 centimeter. Find the total. That becomes 4.16. Are you seeing that? Very, very well. Very simple. And if you check where the what option is, that's your option, what option. Add the main scale, add the linear scale, you get the word, the reading. Let's see for this. The diagram number, what is the reading? First of all, we get the main scale. So let's write main. You can pause it and solve it. And when I'm done, you compare your answer with what you have. Are you with me? Always pause. That's how to learn. Pause it. Try to do it on your own. If you miss it when I do the correction, you will know the part you did not get correct. So for me, and I mean, that this is zero. This will be one. This will be two. This will be three. This will be four. So this is 4.00. Let's check the screw scale. That is say linear scale or screw scale. The screw scale here is 20, right? Let's check. Now, first of all, if you look at it, they, they meet at this point. And that's exactly that. So... 0 0.30. That'll give me 4.30 centimeter. 
And if you check that, that's your option A. Are you seeing the way I'm getting there? Very, very simple. You should be able to pass all of them in the exam. If they ask you your, how to read my grammar, that's real and then you ask and destroy them. Do you understand that? I think this may be the last. Let's see. We try to solve all they have asked. This is all they have asked for jam. We're going to solve all they have asked for other exams like WAEC and the rest. So this will be uh, six. This will be seven. This will be eight. And this will be nine because here is five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what's the main scale? Main scale is equal to 9.00 centimeter. What about this screw scale? Where do they meet? Look at it. First of all, let's check. If you check in between, this is 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, right? 46, 47. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing I'm counting? I'm counting each line. 46, 47. That means they meet at 47. That's 0 0.47. Both of them meet here now. This is the point. So that's 47. So that becomes 9.47. And that becomes your option. Are you seeing that? Okay, but this one was given in millimeter. So are you seeing that 9.47? Do you understand? Very, very, very well. Simple. If you say you understand that practically, let's go to the next teaching. Practically, this all we are going to talk about in this class. I hope at the end of this class you can boldly read any vinyl caliper and any micrometer screw it. Hope you love my class. I'm going to see you in my next class. See you in that class. Peace out. Bye. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the Learn Lift app, whether on Play Store or App Store and then follow up your classes you must do extremely well i'll see you in class bye bye